Hi, my name is Louise Clark and uh, I specialise in working uh, with women crack cocaine users all the way through the 90s, um, developing services and providing training for those who also <laughs> were uh, working with the crack cocaine users. Um, today, this video is not really about how to help, how, how to help yourself, but this video is for others who uh, are caring, care about uh, someone that's a crack or cocaine user, uh, they may be their child, their partner, someone they know. I've had someone recently come and asking, you know, how can they help someone that was on uh, crack and how could they help them off? And this is a common question. So I thought, okay, let me, I did answer them, but it was like, let me answer this today because there'd be many people out there that are looking at how can they help person and the quick answer that people will always give in the drugs field is well you can't because unless they want to stop then there's nothing you can do and that is true that if someone don't want to stop there is nothing you can do to get them to stop uh, often you're told well when they hit rock bottom when they hit rock bottom then they'll stop then and the thing is where rock bottom is differs for everyone because it depends on how far you're falling. It depends on where you're falling from. If you're falling from a high place, then rock bottom may not be too low. Where if you're falling from the bottom anyway, of the sort of social ladders, then it's not so far necessarily that you're falling. So it depends on what you're losing in the first place. But at the end of the day, it semi is when they hit rock bottom, but it may be that rock bottom's too low and that is like when they're dead and so forth. Some people, it's like they, they've lost all confidence that they could stop because each time they try to stop and they fail, they conclude, you see, I can't. The drug is too strong, the addiction is too strong. Uh, there's not, especially with crack cocaine, there's not a lot out there saying you, you can. So there's a lot saying you can't, they're getting reinforced each time they try that they can't, so they believe they can't. So there's a confidence thing of I don't really want to try if I can't. Uh, I've tried before and I didn't. Uh, and answers like that. Uh, the next thing is about, well, if you're going to stop, for some people they need a safer space to stop. I mean, I worked in the extreme end, so I mean, there's women who are working on the streets, living in crack houses. If they're going to stop, they need somewhere to go, somewhere safe to go, and that's difficult. <laughs> so when we're dealing, you know, you're dealing with some levels, you're dealing with people who are homeless and in a entangled situation where they feel they have to continue. Others are living at home with their parents, you know, youth, so forth, and so it depends the other thing is that you need is to look at is because everyone's on like oh well when it's as bad as it can be then they'll stop which they may not because as i've said but also it's also dependent on opportunity because if you was a high flyer and then you're using these drugs you've got so much to lose that you're if someone came with an opportunity for you you've got something to fight for where if you're just like stopping because you know that you should and you've got nothing you've got no home you've got no any prospects it's like it's not so easy as if someone says listen I'll give you the job that you're qualified to do and that will make you a so it, it also does depend on what opportunities are available uh, drugs available to everyone but coming off is not so easy uh, the thing is you've got rehabs <laughs> and I was very reluctant in the past I worked for a voluntary sector and then I set up independently and then I don't I just work write books and so forth now and make these videos but when I did work in the voluntary sector then yes I did utilize rehabs but it's as a last resort because they don't really work and it's not me condemning the rehabs uh, because I trained a lot of them and <laughs> it's still it's the last resort because I tell you the biggest reason is if you look at my work then I explain how coming off of any drug really is a two-year process and rehabs last three months because that's the funding the health authorities will give you three months funding well after three months of being clean all drug users are like sort of 
euphoric and feeling like they've conquered the drug, especially in rehabs, because they're three months clean, so they feel in the clear, but they're not, because that's the stage when they start dreaming about it and little setups happen in their life where they can end up lapsing or relapsing back. So three months is sort of a funky number. Uh, and it, it may be essential, but it's not the answer. Uh, when I worked in services in the 90s, it was a bit different because you didn't have to do outcomes and assessments. So the women didn't have to give a load of information before they got a service. So it was very different then. I'm not quite sure what they've got on offer nowadays. But what I can say is uh, opportunities help. Um, there's herbs because... Uh, a lot of the time, you know, it's about in the drugs field they want to supply another drug to deal with a drug. I didn't work that way. I went along the sort of uh, Chinese medicine path. So uh, acupuncture can be effective in calming the body down, rebalancing the body because it's it's a it's with drug use. It's about the body becomes unstable because the drug, say if it's a stimulant, then it's getting everything racing. If it's a depressant, it's getting everything slowing down. So it's about someone trying maybe to self-regulate their balance, where if you use acupuncture, that will create the balance. But it won't last forever, but it will last temporary. So if they need to get to somewhere and they need to be a bit more calmer to get there, then that can help. Uh, also, if you sort of use the acupuncture every few days, that would work. I uh, use Chinese herbs for users. I worked with a Chinese doctor for a while and he went to China and I described all the issues with the drugs and he came back with these herbs and said try these and I tried them and they do work in that they calm the user down, rebalance them uh, and uh, they, the craving is reduced but uh, they'll moan that they ruin the buzz but in another sense if you really want to stop then take them and then you know that you're not going to get a buzz anyway <laughs> so uh, so the herbs will work anything that's helping to calm because I mean there's many answers and that is why I wrote my books um, so these are the these come in sachets and come in little bottles I sell them on my website higherinsight.co.uk uh, they're called Jay Wei Zhao Yawa. They sell them in all the Chinese herb shops. Um, you can get them online, but some people are reluctant because they don't know what ones they're buying. When it comes to sort of more help, I suppose I wrote many books, but two of the books I've written is one on stop it, how to stop using crack cocaine, which will tell you all these uh, how to understand the drug and also all the answers that I come up with of how to reduce the craving, build a different life, because you can't just stop that sort of drug because it's sort of high adrenaline, so the people are going to be bored stupid. They've got to find a purpose. Uh, and then also I did the book on how to stop using cocaine because they didn't want the crack book, so I made two. <laughs> so they're both available on my website and on Amazon. Um, what was I, what, what else can I say? Uh, because a lot of the time people think it's there, you know, they feel a bit responsible, they feel like, oh, what can I do, I really, and really, as I say, there is nothing you can actually do, it doesn't matter how much you want them to stop, it's about whether they want to stop, letting them know that it's possible to stop, so that it is possible, and these books of mine will help them, and help you maybe understand them, uh, the herbs will work, acupuncture, anything that's calming, but as well, opportunities um, and things to do, things that they enjoy doing. It's no good giving them things to do and then I'm, that's boring, I don't want to do it. Uh, but uh, these things I find uh, helpful to the users. So I hope that <laughs> helps people who are trying to help others know that it's limited of how much you can help because really it does have to come from them they have to believe that they can and they have to want to a lot of the time you know they're in a situation as I said that it's like I don't really want to because I don't want to face like someone died and they don't want to face that and so there's issues sometimes in the way sometimes it is just they don't believe they can some believe they haven't got a problem 
but uh, they will have a problem if they're using that drug for more than six months. Um, but they might be up to ten, they haven't up until that point. Anyway, hope that helped you. My name's Louise Clark. Have a good day. Goodbye.